Hey everyone, this is Lori at the Land of Color and Camp Chroma, and Mommy of Two Littles posted this question on the Howes Garden Web Forum here. So she's already figured out how to use the Color Muse. She's figured out how to get the thing fired up and get it connected to the Color Muse app. Um, she selected LCH from the options in the app, and that's what we need to use to scan color in order to get the hue angle. So she's gotten really far on her own. So she knows that her orangey wood trim and cabinets have a hue angle around 55 to 59. She mentions 59 down here. So she's getting a hue family neighborhood of 55 to 59 degrees. So I plotted that out here on the color strategist wheel so you could see it so it makes some sense. Um, so the numbers aren't so abstract. So we have 55 degrees right here. She had, you know, to 59 degrees. So right here's that hue family neighborhood that we're working in in Munsell terms, and that would be the 5YR hue family. YR is yellow red, also known as orange. So this is the hue family neighborhood we're working in. The, this is, um, these are the results that she got using her Color Muse and Color Muse app, 55, 52, 59 degrees. So I wrote a little bit of detail here for you to read before we hop over to easyrgb.com where we will use that um, data value of 55 degrees to find a paint color to work with her fixed finishes um, that she's working from, which is the orangey wood trim and cabinets. So just read through this quickly because, um, not quickly, but read through it before. Um, you might wanna pause the video so you can read this and then pick it up again when we go over to Easy RGB. It'll make it easier for you to follow along. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna head on over to EasyRGB right now. So we're at EasyRGB.com. So we want to select match color data. And from this drop down menu, we are going to select CIE LCH AB. This AB is important and there's a bigger story to that, but we're not going to go into all that detail. I'm just gonna show you how to do this, like the executive summary kind of walkthrough. So L is lightness, and again, if you read the other post with all of the details on it, um, you'll know that right before you get here. So L is lightness, C is chroma or chromaticity, and H is that hue angle that Mommy of Two Littles has already determined. So I'm gonna enter 55 right here. So let's talk a little bit about lightness. Lightness runs on a scale from zero to 100. Um, the kinds of colors that we normally use that are normal for use in the built environment uh, fall in that 75 to 85 range. Uh, colors of white um, would be like 85 to 95. They would be much brighter. They would be closer to white. They'd be lighter. So zero on this lightness scale is black and 100 is white. So a good round number for lightness for typical wall colors interiors maybe 75 so we'll start with 75 and for the chroma value chroma also runs on a scale from 0 to 100 0 is totally completely neutral no color achromatic and 100 is like maximum chroma so for the colors that we typically use in the built environment um, the chroma number is going to be pretty low uh, for near neutrals it's going to be below five ish right so I'm going to use the number two for a chroma value and I'm going to click match. And this comes up, um, it searches the database. These data values are what Easy RGB uses to search its database, its library of paint colors. They have, I don't even know how many brands they have, but they have um, international brands too. It's not just American brands. So it's searching everything it has and it's coming up with these suggestions that align with the color data values that we entered. And Kelly Moore, a color from Kelly Moore comes up first. So if you have Kelly Moore available in your area, that would be a good option to check out. It has a Delta E of 0 0.6. Uh, Sharon Williams is right here near the top, uh, essential gray with a Delta E of 1.0. Now what this Delta E number means is how close of a match um, these colors are to the data that we entered. So anything with um, a delta of 1.0 or below is a good option and it's worth pulling the chip to take a look. Obviously, the lower the delta E number, the better because that means it's a closer match to the data values that we entered. 
So um, for this search, um, she has a couple good options here. Uh, Smooth Stone from Kelly Moore, if it's available. Essential Gray from Sherwin-Williams. Um, here's another color from Sherwin-Williams called Ponder. And the other ones really aren't national brands that um, would be available to a lot of people. Now, if you had a specific brand that you wanted to search, uh, you could go to this line, this drop-down menu, and we could, for example, uh, select Benjamin Moore All Collections and click Match, and it's going to tell us what colors in Benjamin Moore are closest to the data values that we entered. So, for example, Baltic Gray has a Delta E of 2.0. That's not a super close match to the data, to the data values that we entered, but you know, hey, might be worth pulling a chip to see what you get. So I'm going to change this back to all collections. And let's say I wanted something lighter than 75. So I would just enter a bigger number. And let's say that I want something with a little more chroma. This is a little too gray. These results are a little too gray. And I want to see what comes up if um, we up the colorfulness a little bit and we make the color lighter and brighter. So let's tell Easy RGB to go look for a color like that. And um, we searched all collections and we have a bear color that came up. It's called Rose Pearl. Several bear colors came up. So those might be worth taking a look. Um, but I'm going to focus this in again and say, let's see what they have in Benjamin Moore and click match. And here we have kitten whiskers. This would be, I would definitely pull this one to see what it looked like. It has a delta of 1.7. That's a little high, but um, it doesn't look too uh, purple or too pink, so that might be, um, even though you can't tell a whole lot online, <laughs> right, because you never know what color or how the color is being displayed, but uh, kitten whiskers might be a good one. Bone china might be a good one to take a look at if you can get the CC color. Um, I don't think I do lilac hush. Uh, sea froth, maybe. It has a delta of 2.5. Again, that's kind of high, but these are some ideas, right? And uh, doing it this way, using this method, is a heck of a lot easier than just trying to guess. Um, this gives you a framework. This gives you uh, a point of departure, right? That 55 degree hue angle is a strategic point of departure to use to start to, start to search for colors in the same hue family neighborhood because those colors are going to harmonize with the trim and cabinets because they belong to the same Hue family. So that's the whole point of doing this and that's the whole point of doing it this way. And of course, you know, like I always say, you can't color by the numbers alone. Uh, you definitely have to pull these chips, take a look at the chips and uh, kind of go through those and eliminate what doesn't work. And then you'll always wanna finish up with samples so you can actually test the colors in the space. So that's how we use Hue Angle and easyrgb.com to find um, paint colors with, um, you know, that align with a hue angle uh, that you've captured using your color muse from a fixed finish in your space. So I hope that helps you guys and uh, have fun with this because it is fun. So enjoy.